Do your five, one. My area of specialty is cognitive neuroscience, so I study how the brain works, and in particular I study how the brain processes visual information, so recognizing objects, paying attention to something that you're looking at, that sort of thing. Coming in, I was kind of interested in the medical aspect, and that's where I originally kind of started. But then working in the lab more and seeing how much goes into the research and how much is really gained from the research, it kind of pulled me a little bit more in that direction where there's a way to answer questions and, and kind of get fully into a problem. I'm going to let you go through this iteratively, and you can do just Area 19, mm -hmm. 0.01. I could tell right away that he was serious and interested in and uh, doing work beyond the classroom. And so I offered him a, a chance to work in the lab. And over the last two and a half years, he's uh, grown in his role and now is uh, more involved in designing the experiments, developing the hypotheses, and more recently has even assisted with writing up our manuscripts for publication and presenting them at professional conferences. And then most recently, this last summer, he uh, was involved in a functional brain imaging experiment that we conducted through a grant that we received called the SOMAS grant. It's an uh, acronym that stands for Support of Mentors and Their Students in the Neurosciences. Leopard. So we worked on a functional brain imaging experiment using functional magnetic resonance imaging, looking at uh, visual attention and how people can move their attention from one part of a scene to another. When we were down at the scanner and I would, you know, the brain images were coming up on the screen and I was, you know, kind of felt like a kid in a candy store, like, you know, Dr. Wilson, you know, that's someone's brain. He's, I'm still, <laughs> yeah, but you're looking at someone's brain while they're doing something and it's just, it's phenomenal to be able to have that technology and do that. Okay, we'll calibrate again. It's really interesting and the fact that he essentially treats me like a colleague. For him to actually want my opinion and trust me with doing certain things that I, wouldn't have thought I'd be able to do is really remarkable. It allows for a better learning experience of, of what it really takes to write up these manuscripts, which I think will benefit long term.